at um, <laughs> Dixie Stampede, you don't have a lot of leeway with that with that script. That yeah. They give well, you, right? over the years, it was like kind of fixing jokes and tweaking jokes, and you'd write stuff in, and then did they and let you write ever, stuff in or not? Oh yeah, I mean oh, yeah, right. I, I did like. Over five thousand shows, I had to write something. Well, well, but I just you had to be, they have you a had to be, you had to be very like uh, sneaky about it, I guess. Like, yeah. um, and there was sometimes they'd ask for input and stuff like that, but it would, sometimes there was a line uh, where I'd take the money from the MC and go walking out. Where are you going with all my money? Yeah, I go. I'm going to Walmart, and they go. They call me into the office. Go, you, you know, yeah, the the line's Walmart can't say i'm going to walmart i'm like well you know it, it, it works both ways but i mean i've been Why? doing it this way for like <laughs> three and a half years but okay well, really uh, and then i you know at a you know do a show after show after show i'd say it the other way they called me mm-hmm. to the office go listen you have to say walmart that's how corporate likes it. they like you. oh wow. just not like the the weird things that they'd pick to yeah, yeah. be Trust specific me, about too. yeah uh, it was very strange but over the years uh I wrote in a lot of stuff and mm-hmm. workshopped a lot of stuff. and So there there was some creative involvement, but just in the day-to-day, it was, you had to st- stick, I mean, stick to most of the lines. I think I know. probably had more freedom than you did, because I only did it one day a week, and they didn't pay attention to me. Yeah, so I'm care. like, ah, <laughs> they got somebody here. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. I, I was actually uh, dating a girl that worked there for a long time, I think when you were still there. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And um, the schedule was just brutal. Oh, and yeah. She's Crazy. like, it's just very... Because in my show, I can be, I have a lot more leeway because I interact with the audience yeah. and I can improvise yeah, and stuff. Yeah. But with that, she's like, I just go out and I do this. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's very scripted. Yeah, they, very, well, they have, a, and they have a very specific expectation of what. And her singing voice was amazing when she was down there. I didn't know she could yeah. sing like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, Isn't that that's something? That's a hidden talent. Yeah. But it's only only in the building, normally, that's, are people really that is sing. That is one thing yeah, that we've been incredible. so adamant about. Uh, <laughs> As we started to build this, like being inspired by Stomp and Blue Man Group and all these things, we were very specific about we we didn't want to repeat anybody's material or or, or steal from anybody. Like right. that's what the in general, Branson like, that happens, you know, mm-hmm. uh, underlying uh, concept. Anyway, but right. but you see a lot of that, and especially yeah. with shows like Stomp and all that, and doing the kind of genre that we're in of percuss percussive comedy stuff. Uh, took a lot to come up with things that were very different from what we've already seen and stuff yeah. but it was good because it forced us to really work at things and find these things but also uh from what you were saying uh a big thing for us was doing everything live and yeah, live right. sound live music even though it's only two of us we from the get-go we were like whatever we do on stage we want it to just be the music that we're making like right because it yeah. just yeah yeah, That's no, just, I know. I know exactly feels, what you're talking feels about. Feels right. It, mm-hmm. But you're. And it's challenging. Too. You were a drummer, yeah. right? Where did you uh, did you perform in any shows or anything before? No, mine basically. Uh, I was a drummer all growing up. I started when I was like ten. Mm-hmm. You know, and what that I mean? famous band called Marching. Yes, <laughs> Marching Concert. Um, all yeah. of that jazz band. Jazz. Oh, a little bit, of, they little had bit some all big of those. Hits. They yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you did. You played in some metal bands in college. I well, yeah. I I played in like real band all or real band whatever all the way through <laughs> high school, and then when I went to college, I was more athlete. So like all that's right. what they were paying me for, um, or my scholarships. Whoops, you got paid. I did. What's I guess. Going on there? Yeah, sh- don't, don't tell on anybody. There. Don't tell it. <laughs> um, but no, and then uh, yeah. So I was in a couple heavy metal bands in college. Really? And wore a gas mask and you wore a gas. Okay. But what was fun because I'm like naturally super goofy, so nobody mm-hmm. would ever know. That it was me with that on, because mm-hmm. one of the guys in the show <laughs> behind the mask, you're like, <laughs> yeah, I'm still going. <laughs> uh, um, beautiful. But one of the guys was like a tattoo guy, so he, before shows he would take sharpies and give me like full sleeves. Oh, that's cool. And so I'd have a gas mask and I'd look intimidating, but really it's just kind of like I'm a goober. Yeah. On the cruise ship, uh, <laughs> I work for uh, Royal Caribbean and Celebrity, and they yeah. do these uh, Miami nights. I don't know if you guys work for Celebrity or not, but mm. <clears throat> they do these things on top of some of the ships. Mm-hmm. And there's a guy that they always had DJ, and he'd put those sleeves on. Oh yeah. With the fake tattoos and all the, and he would go out and act like he was this badass, like really hip guy and then you'd see him later and he's this little filipino guy serving everybody and yeah you know but anyways <laughs> i just thought it was funny he had this whole separate yeah. persona well whenever i'm not in our show i'm actually a little filipino guy are you yeah you know mm, but i'm just nice. when i lived in new york city for a couple of years 
it's almost almost by default you end up adopting like a walk around the street mm-hmm. persona. Yeah. Like don't I moved please, here from please New York, don't anybody so. mess with me kind of but right off the bat you're like just walking around a little like whatever tough guy kind uh-huh. of thing you, you adopt. But I I did find it funny cuz people always go, "Oh, people are so oh, so mean in New York or it's so unfriendly." And in the in the sense of that, you know, you're walking around there's thousands of people on the street. You don't really pay attention to a lot of people. But I found people very friendly and open. Yeah. And then I moved here where everybody was supposed to be super friendly. I went out to like a dance club and got threatened to get beat up like four or five times. Exactly. By That's what I Roving said bands I... of angry uh, young youngsters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was yeah. like, hmm, interesting. Yeah. But overall, people are very friendly. 